Good morning. Welcome back. One God, one Lord, understanding our faith. And a small reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 6. So good morning. Welcome back. In the vast expanse of theological discourse, a pivotal truth grounds our faith. The unity of God and Jesus Christ. In 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 6, Paul briefly captures this essence, reminding us that our foundation re remains simply yet profound despite the complicities of theology. There is one God, the Father, and one Lord, Jesus Christ. This study dwells into the richness of this unity, exploring its implications for our lives and our faith and journey. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And now we're going to ask the Lord. And now we're going to ask the Lord to shine into our hearts, the loving master, the pure light of your divine knowledge and own up the eyes of our mind that we may understand your teachings in the scripture. Help us to apply what we learn that you're having conquered sinful desires. We may pursue a spiritual way of life, thinking and doing all the things that are pleasing to you. Your Christ, our God, your light to you, your glory, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever, the sages. Amen. Good morning. Welcome back. The Lord is our shepherd. The great is his faithfulness. Indeed, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Keep asking, keep seeking, keep knocking. Christ is truly in our midst. The true definition of minister is to serve someone else's will. It's my pleasure to bring you all God's word each and every day. So quickly, we'll get our screen shared over and get right to our verse. Be very, very quick video this morning. Very quick lesson. Thank you all again for following. Hope you enjoy the videos. Hope you enjoy learning something about the Bible. So I, I enjoy each and every day. So here we go. Just very quick this morning. So first, so first Corinthians chapter eight, verse six. Let's look at this. And it says, yet for us, there is one God, the father of whom are all things. And we for him and one Lord Jesus Christ, through, who, through whom are all things and through whom we live. So let's read that again. And it says, yet for us, there is one God, the father of whom are all, all things. And we for him. And one Lord Jesus Christ, through whom are all things, and through whom we live. Name the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So let's, let's look at this. So, according to the Orthodox Study Bible commentary, right? I read a lot of different study Bibles in their commentary. And so, the Orthodox Study Bible, when I was looking at it this morning and, and last night, kind of stuck out to me. So, in their commentary, right? So their commentary provides a lot of insightful perspective on 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 6. Regarding the phase, right? Regarding the phrases of whom and through whom, okay? So according to the commentary, these phrases do not refer to the divine nature of God and Jesus Christ, but rather to the, but rather to the relationship with us. All right? Stay with me. So we look at scripture. Of whom, right? Yet, for there is one God, the Father of whom, right? So, of whom. So, of whom points to the source or origin, improvising that everything comes from God the Father, highlighting his role as the creator and the ultimate source of all existence. Then we see through whom, right? Let's keep reading. And then it says, and one Lord Jesus Christ, through whom are all things and through whom we live, right? So through whom, right? Through whom? It's indicating the means or channel. Everything reaches us. Jesus Christ as the son of God and our Lord is a meditator through whom God's blessings, salvation, and grace are conveyed to us all. In this context, the commentary improvises the relational aspect of God's interaction with humanity. It also underscores the Father's role as the source of all things, and Jesus Christ's role as the meditator through whom we receive God's blessing and salvation. This understanding deepens our appreciation for the intimate connection between the Father, the Son, and us as believers, highlighting God's love and care for his creation. This passage also aligns right, with John. With John 1, verses 1 through 3. Right? 
And it says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him, nothing was made that was made. Named the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So regarding the relationship of the Father and the Son to us is also found in John chapter 1, verse 1 through 3, which we just read, right? The passage also speaks of the word, Jesus Christ, Logos, being with God the Father from the beginning and playing a central role in creation. The parallel emphasizes the unity and the interconnectedness of the Father and the Son in creation and their ongoing relationship with all of humanity, named the Father, Son. And the Holy Spirit. Beautiful. Beautiful. As we conclude this morning. right? So as we conclude this really short study and breakdown. Let us anchor ourselves in the profound truth. That God is the ultimate source of everything. His handiwork is evident from the cosmos. Vastness. Vastness. To our lives. Pacifics. May this understanding inspire us to seek him earnestly. For we find purpose and strength and abundant grace in him. Let us journey forward, rooted in the knowledge that our God, the source of all, is faithful and ever-present in our daily lives. In the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And that's where I'll end this morning. The quick reading, quick breakdown. Hope you understood it. All right. I'm going to post the study, the write-up. Anyone has any questions? the comment box on Rumble, YouTube. Hey, thank you all again for following. I love you all so much. This is where we'll end this morning with a quick prayer. All right. All right, here we go. May the, may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be merciful to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Name the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, they will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and give us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from an evil one. Yours is the kingdom, power, and glory. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever. As sages. Amen. The Lord is our shepherd. O oh Lord God, you spoke us your divine sin and words. You illuminate the souls of sinners that comprehend what we just read. That we don't appear simply as hear spiritual words, but hearers of good deeds, true pursuers of faith. Having a blameless life and conduct without approaching Christ our Lord, you are light and to you will be glory. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever. O sages. Amen. The Lord is our shepherd. Depart in peace in the name of the Lord, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Peace be with you all. Go in peace. Shalom, shalom. May the Lord forgive those who love us those who hate us. Good day. I love you all so much.